Hey, it's Tash from Traffic Snap, and this week's video I wanted to talk to you about the display network and remarketing. Um, they're both uh, all managed under Google AdWords um, platform, but they do do different things. And I often have conversations where some people get a little bit mixed up between the two. They think it's the same, not too sure of the differences. So if I can do a quick video that helps explain the differences, hopefully that will help you learn a thing or two. So first of all, remarketing is where you will put a pixel or a cookie uh, or a piece of code, sorry, on your website. And what will happen is when somebody visits your website, that will drop um, a cookie on that user. And dependent on how long you want to follow that person around for, that person will go onto a list within your AdWords account or within your Facebook account or wherever you're building that list. The list won't contain somebody's personal details like their name, their email address or anything like that. But what you will know is when you set up that list, the rules you've put in place will be what apply for that person. So let's say if you build a remarketing list of anybody who's been on any page of your website within the last 30 days, then that is what that list will contain. So like I say, it doesn't contain any personal details, but what it does give you is the opportunity to talk to people um, and put more information in front of them in form of adverts after they've been on your website and they haven't done anything. So that's an ideal thing to do if you're looking at um, lead generating through your website, but you get people who land on the pages and don't opt in, um, you can then follow them around with other banners and reminding them that they visited you. Then what you have is the display network, um, which remarketing does fall under, but the display network can be used for different things. So you can build discovery campaigns, for instance, within the display network. So that could be where you build a collection of URLs that you want to target based on other people having online behavior that would also visit those URLs. You, they would be interested in what you do. You build those URLs under an audience group and then you put your product in front of them by form of um, banners. You can also do it by um, online behavior and interests. So you've got things like in-market audiences, affinity audiences, and what those are are different categories of people who may have showed interest by browsing similar sites to yours online and you can indicate where they may be in their purchase decision based on them being within the in-market audiences or the affinity audiences. So that is basically a discovery campaign where you can target people based on what they've done online and, and how far Google believe these people are within, within their purchase decision. And then you can put banners in front of them that will hopefully direct them to your product or your service. And it may be that they're closer to making a decision on it. So you've come up at the right time. Um, so the display network does cover discovery stuff. It does cover remarketing, but you break it out into differences like that. Um, if you've got a website, it might be worth looking at your analytics and seeing how many visitors you've had over the last 30 days, because it may be that you've got, you know, two to 300 people who visited but haven't done anything and you want to get back in front of them. Um, so yeah, have, have a bit more of a, a think about that. And if you wanted to have a chat about it in more detail, get in touch. Uh, you can email me at natasha at traffic.snap.co.uk and uh, we can get a call in the diary. So hopefully speak soon and uh, catch you next time. Cheers. Bye.